Peter Barb here from Arbrex Manufacturing. We're doing the first in our series of Shop Talk series. Uh, today we're going to be unpacking and putting together a floating surface aerator. Uh, it's always nicer to see a video of how it's done. Um, a lot easier than reading the instructions. However, you know, we always recommend, you know, when you do get time, go through the instructions. There's lots of good useful information in there. And uh, the other thing too is, um, you know, don't throw those instructions out because, you know, it's good for future information and also, the, uh, the instructions uh, happen to have some parts in there that you need. So, uh, like I said, um, you know, read them at your leisure. So, we always like to uh, go a little bit heavy duty on everything around here. So, all our boxes are heavy duty cardboard, full overlap, so the carriers and couriers don't damage them during shipping. And we have some high tech packaging equipment that we can fully encapsulate everything in foam. So, there's less chance of uh, the product being damaged in transit. In fact, uh, our success rate's been so high that. Uh, very, very rare that it ever happens. So again, there's the instructions. Keep those. There's some parts we're going to need in there in a minute. Your uh, mooring ropes, we'll tie those to the float, show you what to do with those in just another minute. And here's your pump unit and the power cable. So first thing um, on the product, just want to show you on the top, the motor mount here, we use quarter inch stainless steel wire. It's all welded, electro polished, very, very solid unit. You know, if you just break, if you break that, you're just being just too darn rough on it. There, you know, there's no chance of breaking that. Uh, stainless steel motor, water cooled, water lubricated. Uh, again, these things are designed and built to live in the water. So, you know, uh, you'll, you'll get many, many years of good service out of it. Uh, we use a high impact propeller that's, uh, got a proprietary plastic in it. Uh, we impact tested these when we designed them to, um, you know, with a steel bar when it was running in a test tank, uh, you know, no damage, a little bit of scoring of course, but uh, you know, they just didn't break. Overall, real solid, robust product. Um, and again, we're gonna show you how to assemble it to the float in just a minute. So now that uh, we've got the, uh, the pump unit out of the, uh, the packaging, we've got our instructions here. There's, there's some hardware in here. So we're just gonna get that out. This is all the mounting bolts to get it fastened to the float. So again, to solve this hardware is all stainless steel. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take the, uh, the bolts, put flat washer on, put it through the, uh, the motor mount, put another flat washer on, and just hand tighten these for now. These are nylock nuts, so uh, once they're fastened in, nothing's going to come apart on you. So again, repeat this for four locations and then this will get it all ready to uh, fasten to the float. So there we go, that's all ready now. Let's set that aside. We'll get the float out of the box. Now our floats, they're all um, rotationally molded plastic and they're foam filled. And that way if the outside is ever compromised for any reason, they, they won't sink because they are foam filled. Uh, the wall on these is quarter inch thick plastic. So it's very tough, very, uh, very durable. So what you want to do is you take your float, put it upside down on a nice flat work surface. Then just take the pump, turn it upside down, and you're going to see the four little slots. So you just want to work these into those slots until they all kind of get started in there. And then next, you're just going to take a uh, you're just going to take a seven sixteenths wrench and a socket. Go to get your hand down in there to hold on to the bottom of the bolt, and then just tighten these. So you're gonna do that in four locations. And you wanna get them just, just to the point where they're snug. You don't wanna over tighten them like crazy because again, as long as it's snug in there, the nylock nuts will look after it and it, uh, they won't come apart. So you gotta remember you're tightening against plastic but it is very solid in this area so you can get a reasonable amount of torque. There you go, so that's all fastened now. So that's ready 
to go in the water essentially now. So the only thing you really need left to do is uh, tie your mooring ropes to the float and then you'd be ready to, uh, to put it in your pond or lake. So I just take some uh, cutters and get rid of the tie wraps that are holding the ropes on. And then essentially you're just going to take the, uh, the one end of the rope. There's four locations for mounting the, the rope. Just tie it through the hole. Tie a couple of good uh, ties a knot on there. Third time and then it definitely won't come out. And then we'll show you in a, in a second on our uh, illustration how this looks when it's installed in the water.